Now, if you're smart, you would know if you're a fan of mine that what you got to do if you want to know my drug of choice or my drugs of choice, just listen to my music chat. Because it's all right there. So as I'm sitting in my beauty room and it's cold again, because it was just warm, because I had the heat on, and I put my, um, but I had to take the heat off because it was time to start getting my hair curled, and I saw people saying that, can I just say something? I don't know, hey, um, I don't know if it's just me, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be embarrassed about the drug I did. That's why I talk about drugs I do. In my always have always. If I'm if I'm off them, I'm off them, Jack. But I want to make this clear. So open everybody's ears. Listen to your uh, clean them ears out. I have never ever in my life with my hand to Jesus Christ, and y'all know how I feel about my Lord and Savior. Never in my life. Ever, not even once, sniffed coke. Ever. Since I, since I was a kid, I, I get cold. Like, and, and when I used to wear contacts, that would, that would trigger my allergies. I'm always just colder than everyone else. I asked the doctor, was I anemic? He said, um... He said, no, your, your natural body temperature is just lower than the average person. So that means <laughs> somebody hey, hi, Lady Luck. It, ha it hasn't been perks only, but all you got to do is listen. I was, and if I ever sniffed cocoa, if that was my thing. Hola, Fernando, ¿qué pasó contigo? Dímelo. Viva Monse. <laughs> Viva Asca de la Renta. If I ever did coke at any time in my life, I would have been rapping about it. Now, thank you, Booth. I always, if you, if anybody that went on tour with me, I'm always like that. Um, thank you, my drug, my drug of choice. Um, I do take Allegra every day, and also I have to take Allegra now sometimes twice a day but if i was crying or if i was just blowing my nose or if i was cold this 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 is me all day runny sniffy sniffly all the time so um yes i have put raps in my like i've said lyrics like keep the snow white i could buy about a bundle uh i'm talking about weight in fact, I've only ever even seen Coke in bricks. But, hey, Asian. But if you, like I said, if you want to know, since y'all want to know my drugs and all of that, just listen to my music. <laughs> but when I talk about what I actually do, in <laughs> I say, Popping them things to go up and smoking and smoking Los Angeles bud. What are you doing? <laughs> and if I was to, by the way, I know a lot of people that, that, what's up TV? What's good? You already know. Hi, Jack Queens. By the way, I know a lot of, I have a lot of friends or acquaintances, acquaintances in the industry that actually do cope. I don't judge them for it, but I've never tried it. Never wanted to, never asked them to, especially in the fashion world. That's so common and normal. Um, but yes, again, let me say it for the ones in the back, my hands to God. And see, that's the thing. When people used to lie about me, I was I never used to clear. I never used to clear my name. And there was someone who took a major step and and told that lie to people. Um, and I never addressed it. I never addressed it because I thought it was too ridiculous at the time to address. But something just told me I was in a good mood. Hi. What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn from Kenya, East of Africa. And guys, you're very welcome to my channel. In case this is your first time here, please. 
please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can always stay updated whenever i post a video also in case you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for always coming back i don't take your support for granted may god bless you anyway straight into today's video uh this video Nicki minaj the queen of uh uh the rap industry the queen of hip-hop you know uh the queen of the I don't know i just want to give her all her flowers because she's so good at what she does i believe she's one of the women she's one of the women who will leave a very very huge legacy in the music industry because she has been a superstar she has been in the industry for so long we haven't seen her with so much much drama we have never seen nikki fight anyone like uh, this physical battle uh, you all know that these rappers most of them be uh be doing big big crimes most of them be going to jail courts and all that but we haven't seen that with nikki so we must applaud her for that and she's one woman who really appreciate her fans because we'll never see her uh this uh sound disrespectful to her fans we'll never see nikki like fighting anyone on the internet despite their uh being you all know that uh bloggers must push some uh some analogies but we, we we will never see nikki do all these nasty stuff so we must applaud her but lately or else for the longest time there have been speculations you know there have been allegation that nikki might be under the influence of some drugs and i guess that is why he just thought of why not go online and address all these rumors of um uh, of herself using drugs and all that stuff because you all know that being a celebrity you also you also a mother to someone also a sister a brother a daughter to someone so all these rumors might be affecting you and also them might be affecting the family so i guess that is why she thought of addressing all these drug related rumors you know that are always online but even before that guys you all know that uh people in the industry you know people uh the people in the industry especially now the hollywood to be specific they have been exposing each other a lot and most of them uh use these drugs substances and i guess that is why uh people were have been talking and saying that uh, nikki has been under the influence of something but this video that she did years ago she was addressing all these and as you've heard what she said she has said that she's not ashamed uh to say or to to she's not ashamed to say or to even uh reveal it to the public that uh she uses drugs or she has ever used drugs that is not that is something that she's never ashamed of and she admitted that she uses some of these drugs but she said and sweared in the name of god you know the only god who has given us power grace and all these things she admitted it in the name of god and say that she has never used coke in her life she went ahead and said that a lot of people in the industry especially in the fashion industry use it and it's not even like news to everyone because people know she said that people use it in the fashion industry but she has never and so i so i did in the name of god the god that you know all of us worship and say that you know she has never used coke ever in her life and i guess it's because for the longest people for the longest time people uh, were saying that she might be under the influence of coke and all that stuff but she has said and repeated it again that she has never used coke yes she might have used other drugs yes she used other drugs she even said that people can listen to his to her music because she always uh reveal all these things that she has done on her music but there is not there is uh no one song you will hear to her talk about how she used cock and say that she's never ever used cock in her life so guys please uh, let's spare her all these cock allegations now now that she has cleared out her name because again she's a celebrities you know all these allegations all these claims all these nasty words we might be telling her remember that she has a child and one day this child will grow up and read all those comments 
she has a family they read all those things and maybe they affect the family maybe they also affect her as a human being because you all know we are human being we are triggered so please guys let's show nikki uh our queen all the love that you know we can because all we got to do is show love love is free let's love her anyway that's all for now i'll update you with more news